before I get the video started, I know I'll explain it in another video, but the Trey Birch Private Sale has started today. I'll leave the links for every category. Remember that the Trey Birch Private Sale goes by really, really fast. So if you do want to get items, I suggest to uh, check the link down below and it's worth it. And I may or may have not gotten a few items. So uh, enjoy the video, but I did want to say that the Trey Birch Private Sale has started as the day that I'm posting this video. What is up, you guys? If you're watching Surgery Secret, before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button i post a video daily on the channel and today we're going to be talking about tory birch we're going to be talking about the new unapproved tory birch peri toe i have the older version i have the newer version and we're going to be talking about it and then we're also going to be giving you a review on the cloud miller sandals so i thought it'd be like a fun kind of tory birch video a little bit of my opinions on the cloud millers and i do have a new opinions on the peri toe so let's go ahead and talk about the peri toe and then we'll talk about the toy birch miller sandal and i'll leave um, i believe the older peri totes are on sale so i'll leave some sell links on the peri tote and then i'll link the newer versions and then i'll link um the miller sandals that i have and then the originals down below and if i can find any on sale as well a lot of you guys know that i own the classic peri tote this one comes in at 348 dollars i i've had her for about a year and a half and my peri toe actually looks in really great condition for the amount of wear that I've gotten. Um, I have had like basically a little to none corner wear. Um, this one has no feet on the bottom, unlike the newer version, which we'll talk about it. Um, as far as the leather, the leather has gotten a little bit more malleable over time. It's not as structured as when I first bought it. I kind of like that because when you put it over a coat and when you put it over a long sleeve or just over your shoulder, I find that it kind of molds in with your figure a little bit more. So I do like that it does have a little bit more malleability and it's like a lot more moldable than when you first get it. Um, on the inside, it has a triple compartment. So it is called the Perry triple compartment toe. You have a one side, one side, and then a middle. But then on the inside, um, it is not stitched in. So things could actually move back and forth if they're like maybe like a pin or anything that's a little bit smaller. When you open it up, it's just a straight compartment like that. And the reason why I'm actually going to get rid of my peri toe, not necessarily because it is the older version and because I wanted to get the updated one, the reason why I'm getting rid of my peri toe and why I'm essentially just going to keep the newer one that I have, um, the reason is because I already have like a lot of black handbags in my collection. I think at this point, I have so many bags that are big and small. I have so many totes. I have so many satchels or even smaller bags that are just black and for me i just wanted to get other handbags that are just different colors or different variations i think that the classic peri toe is a really great bag i think it's a great staple and if you are thinking about the peri toe and if you already have the original peri toe i think it's still a great handbag and especially right now if you can get it on sale i think it's a really great purchase but for me i just wanted to have like an updated version as far as like i just didn't want it to be black i wanted it to be another version so therefore that's why i ended up purchasing a the newer version of the peri tote which is right over here so this is the newer version of the peri tote and so yes mine is in the monogram and yes the jacquard print is a hundred dollars the classic all leather peri tote is still 348 and some of the differences of the older one to the new one is the one that i love the most is the feet at the bottom um i just appreciate that it has a little bit of the metal feet i do like the details of it and i'll show you they're not super big the feet but i just do appreciate the extra details that they are on it and also the newer peri totes are a little bit larger not by a whole lot but as you can see just by the base you could tell that it is slightly a little bit larger than the newer version so what i appreciate that tory birch did and i'll put them here side by side what i appreciate that tory did is that let's say if i had the old black one of the peri tote not the monogram i appreciate that it's a little bit larger it has feet at the bottoms and then the newer version also has compartments inside it has um it has one kind of bigger pocket and then kind of two smaller side pockets so what i like about it is that it it still has the pockets on the inside it has feet at the bottom it's slightly a little bit larger but it's still the same price 348 tori definitely and i'm not here to say that she won't do a price increase because the cloud millers did have a price increase and some of the t monogram items did have a little bit of a price increase like i think some of one of the bags was like 
498 and then when I checked when I wanted to kind of like purchase it, it was 548 So she has had a little bit of price increase, but I appreciate that the Perry Tilt technically is still 348 but it's slightly larger. It has feet at the bottom and it has pockets. So I do appreciate that Tori didn't really raise the price on it and that's still the same price. So you are getting more of an elevated, you are getting more bang for your buck than the older versions. And if you are considering the older version, you can get a really great deal. Um, on the websites because a lot of the, they're kind of getting rid of the older um peri totes that are out in the market and so for me what i love about this one like i said i love this one but i also didn't like that this one didn't have any pockets or anything yes i you know you know me i don't really care like my i'm very carefree but you know recently i will say i'm a little bit more particular and i'm a little bit more refined in the things that i want in my life and things that are more functional and so one of the main reasons why i kind of stopped using it towards the last kind of three months is just because um it was just starting to be a little bit of a black hole even though there was a divider um i wish that it was at least stitched in at the bottom versus the newer ones it's actually stitched in so things don't actually move back and forth it's stitched in all right inside so like I said, you get more bang and more details for, for for your buck. So I really do appreciate that. So um, as far as the newer version, I just love that it's just a slightly larger and it fits everything. So we'll do like kind of what's in my bag and what I would fit inside of it. So on my laptop, it literally looks like it has a disease. Like it is like quite dirty. It has been through the gigs, but if it's a 13 inch laptop here and mine's the MacBook Pro and it fits in there absolutely perfectly. I mean, if it if it in the classic one too, um, I have my agenda, which I tend to keep with me and um, let's see if it zips up. I normally don't put it on there. I like for it to be separate because I just don't like the gap like that and I don't want it over time to get a lot of wear. But I can put the agenda on the in the middle if I choose to, like if it's raining or something. But I'm just gonna put it here on the side. So I'm gonna zip it up. I have my agenda in there. I have the laptop on the inside. And then um, I have my charger and then kind of like this little side one where I do put my phone charger inside. And so for me, that was another thing is I like my chargers will be like kind of all over the place and it'll get tingled in the classic Perry. So what I like is that it literally, this pocket here is literally made for like the charger. So I have my laptop, I have my charger, I have my agenda, and then I still have more space here and more space on the other side. And so for me, I do like sunglasses. I always carry sunglasses, but sometimes like, you know, things can be bulky. It will fit in here if I wanted it to, it fit in there perfectly. But what I like is the pocket in here. It's very, very hands free. So in the pocket here, I can easily slide my pair of sunglasses. And what I like is that on the inside, it's lined with this kind of suede material. So I find that it's not going to uh, scratch the lenses. As long as the lens is facing the suede material, I find that it's not going to scratch it. And I find that it's going to be well protected. And then here I have like another tech pouch where I have like my AirPods and stuff right here, SD cards. I have kind of like a catcher where I have like my pins. I have um, my keys in here. I have some gum. I have some lip products. So a little bit like of a catcher bag. And since it's from Prada, it's denim, same as the black one. I can put that in there. And then if I do want it to fit a full size wallet, I definitely can. And I can slip that in. And I still have quite a bit of space. I still have a free pocket that I can probably put pins or I could probably put my cell phone in here. Yeah. I put my cell phone in there and it'll fit perfectly. So I just love the newer version because I feel like I don't have to bring extra compartments to hold the charger, the sunglass, and it just saves a little bit more time and it is slightly bigger. So everything fits a little bit, a bit more comfortably. So um, this is what it looks like. I'm about 5'11 for reference um, and it just fits everything. I like that it's a little bit more proportional. I'll put the classic curry toe on my other shoulder and you know, it is, like I said, it is slightly smaller and it was a good toe, but I just feel like I wanted um, a little bit more for my everyday life. And I have been using this toe quite a lot as a good laptop bag. This has been my to go laptop bag since I purchased it. And look at that, like it fits perfectly. It's not super bulky. The, the straps don't really come apart. Um, this one's like a little bit smaller. And I find that um, this one drops a, it's like a little bit lower, which I appreciate more because when I wear a coat, I feel like it's not super constructive here. And so I personally do like the new and improved version of the Perry Toe. Like I said, mine is in the Team Lonergram, which is gonna be $100 more, but if you do want the old leather, it's still gonna be the same price as the black one right here. But I just love all the elements of the new version of the Perry Toe. 
I think it's really great. I think it's really well. And you know, as much as I'm gonna miss my old period toe, I'm really happy with this one right here. And another reason why I went for the T monogram is because I always wanted to add a T monogram collection into my item. Like I said, I'm very picky when it comes to monogram. It has to speak with me. You know, I don't really like like LB monogram. I don't like certain monogram styles, but I do like this T. I think it's spaced out. I like Gucci monogram. Starting to like Fendi monogram. I like the Burberry monogram. I like the Goyard monogram. But I just like the positioning of the positioning of the monogram is really well. It's not too big, it's not too small. It is done very, very well. And here is the little clochette. And here is the classic T little metal right here. And I also like that this T monogram is is lined with kind of like this suede material. Not sure if the classic period will have it. I may just be a T monogram thing. But I, I love it. I love the navy. I love the white stitching. And I love everything about this tea monogram. And I've been using it and I've been nothing but happy. So guys, if you are considering a great toe, I really, really like the new and improved peri toe. I've already loved my peri toe in general, but there's nothing like this new and improved one. Like it's the pockets for me. It's the feet at the bottom for me. It's it being slightly larger for me. I just appreciate all those elements of the newer version of the peri toe because it works really well for my lifestyle style and it, it, I just it just fits a lot more better and makes life more sim simpler like I said I think you know yes I don't really care about like a lot of things I'm like you know a girl whatever put in the back but you know recently I have been starting to throw in elements of me kind of like I prefer it if I had this or that like not necessarily being more picky but just you know I want things to be a little bit more easier for my day-to-day -day life and so this peri toe is definitely a great one I love it so much and um, this is gonna get a lot more wear I see it even getting more a lot more wear than my black one because I already have like a lot of other black bags that I would always alternate but just something about this T monogram and I also have been wearing the color white a lot so white with um, this kind of navy with the white stitching has been pairing really really well with a lot of things that I'm wearing so the T monogram toe is definitely for the win I highly recommend it if you are looking for a great uh, toe I think the new and improved Perry toe is definitely a win for me and like I said I love everything about it but I also love that the classic leather one stayed the same price um, I really really appreciate that and if you're watching this in the future and the price went up um, I still think it's a really great tote for the market for a, a great tote under $400 or under $500. And like I said, I do like the Jacquard print on this. I do love the team monogram a lot. So um, I haven't had any uh, issues at all. And, you know, this is pretty heavy and it's it's been pretty good. So team monogram is definitely for the win. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tote there. Oh my god, it's quite heavy, but I quite like it a lot. And so now let's go ahead and talk about the Troy Rich Miller sandals, the cloud one. So I have two of them. So I ended up getting the Cognac first, um, or kind of like the kind of classic kind of Miller color. I call this the classic Miller color. When I think of this particular color, even if it's like another brand, like even if it's not even fashion related, I just call it the classic Miller color. I don't know. I think when I think of Miller sandals, I definitely really think of this color right here. And so I bought these in the beginning when Troy Rich Miller Cloud Miller sandals were $198. Now they're $228. I didn't necessarily mind the price increase. I didn't really care a lot. I mean, I yes, it was like, you know, $30 more, but I mean, I really like them. So that's why I went for them. But I wanted to talk about the wear and tear on them. So I will say um, I do also have them in this pretty white color. But I will say um, I knew this was going to happen from the beginning just from reviews. So I really wasn't upset and I'm not mad because I already knew what I was getting myself into. So the white ones on these leather ones will leave kind of imprints on it. So if you are considering about white shoes, and this is white shoes in general that have a white sole that's a sandal. And that's why I try not to get a whole lot of white sandal shoes. These are the only ones that I have that are a white sole. Um, it's because you will get, you know, this wear right here. So I'll kind of... Um, leave it like that so um, as you can see you can see a little bit of my foot imprints but as I start wearing this and I've only worn this one maybe like maybe like 10 times and so if you are considering the white cloud miller sandals I would recommend them but I would just keep advice that um, the white ones will get a whole lot of wear on them and here is the side but that's just the nature of the cloud miller in a white um, but I did want to say that they have been getting wear but like I said they're white sandals, what do you expect? But when you put them on, you can't really tell. But I don't know if I would buy these, like if these were my only pair of sandals, I don't know if I would buy these and depend on them to be like my whole summer sandal because I feel like they'd be quite trash. For me, I do have quite a bit of shoes, I have quite a bit of sandals, so for me, 
I don't necessarily mind that they have them because I have like a few things that I can always keep in rotation. But if you are considering the white Claude Miller sandals as your only fur or your first one, I would probably make this like your second pair like mine or your third or get it later down because um, the white one will get a lot of wear on it, um, especially right in the beginning. As far as the Cognac, I've been using kind of like this kind of classic Miller color for the longest I've been using these. I've used them double than what I used the white ones. Um, I know some people have been saying that there has been a little bit of wear. Mine has had a little bit of wear here on the corner, but um, you can see it right there. But other than that, um, the Cloud Miller, like, um, here, let's do a little bit of a close-up. I do see like a little bit of discoloring right here, but... Um, it's other than that like the Miller sandal has been holding up um, pretty well um, If you are have if you do have a white foot And the reason why I would never get the classic Miller sandals is because I have a white foot And so every time I would put it it looked like the T was gonna like literally explode But these new ones have been fitting really really well um, I quite like it a lot like doing the Cloud Miller sandal and you do have a white foot I think that they're really really great sandals um, But like I said, I would just keep in mind for the white ones that I really wouldn't recommend them as far as your first ones because they will get a lot of wear on them in the beginning as far as the color uh, like more of the darker colors like this one like the black one or like a darker navy color i would recommend because the wear and tear on them a it's not going to be as shown as much um and b i think that they're going to hold up a lot better over time so um cloud miller sandals i would probably give it um, I give it a 9 out of 10 and the reason why I take a note down is because even though like a lot of the reviews um, the color on them does this color a little bit over time and so I wish that that would be something that Tory Burch in general could maybe kind of work on or find a solution on I know that's kind of a known issue if you do read the reviews that's about it but that's the only con that I would say but they're super comfortable I think they're a great price point I think that they are worth the money but i just be cautious about lighter colors in them as of now and they may change them kind of like the peri tote they may kind of give it an update and see how they are and whenever they first launched they were sold out i know sometimes the miller sandals kind of go in and out of stock but i'm pretty sure now at this point in the summertime they are starting to be more in stock so if you are considering them i would highly recommend them and yeah guys this is going to be my video on my like review on the miller cloud miller sandals i like them and, and they're going to continue to get more wear in my collection like i said just be cautious on lighter colors and for me i do love my newer version of my toy bridge peri toe uh, oh my god it's so heavy but i love it so much so uh peri toe definitely 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 for the win and yeah guys i want to say thank you thank you so much for watching this video i love each and every single one of you what videos do you want to see from toy birch as a brand because i'm more than happy to do that for you and what other videos do you want to see on this channel i would love and appreciate the feedback thank you thank you so much for watching this video guys i'll leave the links for everything down below and i'll see you guys on the next video guys bye guys and take care i love each and every single one of you